Okay, hello everyone. We're down at the greenhouse and the garden and I just walked down here and said, oh my gosh, look at what happened. Do you see how this is all turned up, the soil behind me? I think that somebody, <laughs> either Marble, our little dog, or raccoons or something are digging around in there because ever since I put the chicken manure in, it smelled really stinky and it does smell quite pungent right now. Um, and I think that he's liking to dig around with it in it and see what he can find. So we have to get a fence up here soon and that's another project. Uh, we had one and it fell down. <laughs> um, and well, we just like took it down because it started to, to rot. Um, so yeah, that's another project, but we need to do that soon because I'm gonna start planting stuff. I was hoping to do that today. We'll see if I feel like that's a good idea or not. I just consulted my little chart drawing of what I wanted to plant where. And in case you're wondering, this is what my drawing looks like. I've got my notes about the pH and stuff. And then I have like what I wanted to plant where in the rough locations. I kind of broke each bed into thirds. Um, and some things like the peas and the lemon balm, I'm not re yet ready to plant. So I'm just gonna sow some seeds with echinacea and cabbage, those little starts today and then save room, that's gonna be the hardest part. My biggest challenge, I feel like this year, is to use as much space as I can, or maybe use as little space as I can. Because I feel like I often plant things and they, once they mature, I realize I probably could have planted them closer. Uh, and so my challenge today, I guess, is to plan out like the, how close I can get them. To help me maximize my space this year, I brought a ruler outside. And I don't know why I've never done this before, but it was incredibly helpful and allowed me to get more precise measurements than I would if I was just estimating. And so here I'm starting with some um, white and red onions. And I'm approximately, <laughs> I'm estimating how I'm spacing them, but the rows at least are spaced uh, according to what is recommended. Though I'm at this point, I'm thinking I could probably squeeze in another row. So you see me switch the white onions there. Here we have some carrots. And I'm reading the directions again for the carrots. And it says basically to place them like daintily, <laughs> intentionally. And then I just go for it. And I immediately regretted this decision. And so then I tried to kind of go back, <laughs> like be careful, but it was too late. So we're definitely gonna have to work on that section once they start growing. Lastly, here's some chamomile, and I'm just planting these according to the directions. Haha, ha, yeah, right. I also wanted to say one thing about the beds that we are super happy about. Um, my grandpa never grew out here in the ground because it's really um, hard and like dense clay soil that has a lot of redwood roots growing through it. And so really the only like feasible way to grow something is with a raised bed. So a couple of years ago, Jeff and I built these beds and the cool thing about these beds is that they're reclaimed wood from the old deck off of the house that my grandparents had and we had to kind of take that down and redo it for safety <laughs> um, but we were able to save almost all of the wood and repurpose it into these raised beds and I think Giga would have been so happy about that and we are really pleased too. Next up is this cabbage. Oh they're so cute. Okay I'm just gonna put them down kind of like what I did with the onions just to see like get a feel of how much space they take and I if they need more space or not um, before I like actually plant them into the grounds get out of there get out of there you little doggy you little doggy Okay, I'm consulting the chart to see, I think I'll move these over this way because I want to have enough room for peas and echinacea and lemon balm. <laughs> that might be ambitious. I know lemon balm can be really big and lengthy. I don't know how big these grow. We'll find out. Oh, it's time for some more echinacea and I already started some echinacea inside, so what's my plan with this? I think that I'm going to plant a couple of these here and then leave space for the ones that are hopefully going to be growing inside in the little cardboard tubes and then transplant those 
later, but I want to also experiment just starting them in the ground now to see what happens. First, I gotta visualize. This is where the lemon balm's gonna go. This is, these plants can get pretty big. This, I guess, I'll start my seedlings on this side. Okay, every 18 inches? That seems like such a big, like, empty space in between. Oh well. Okay, this is actually perfect because I planted a lot. All right, what does it say again? A group of three seeds every every 18 inches. Wow. Okay. Right. Get him, marble. I guess I must stop here. I'll scatter these somewhere else. All right, we're back at it. We're fed. We're watered, and time to do the same thing to these plants. <laughs> I'm gonna put the last little. A um, couple of things in right here and then we're going to water those and call it a day and I'm not gonna film that because the space on my phone is, is like too small so uh, I'm gonna go get that done and then I'll just show you I guess that I'm done but if I don't film an outro clip super excited to get the little plants in it looks like I have a real garden which is so fun and yeah so these are the beds so thanks for joining and I'll keep you updated in the next couple of weeks what happens with the outside beds